Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing the difference between full metal jacket and soft point ammunition. Now I reloaded these myself. Both have the same type of brass, the same type of primers, and the same type of powder, and the same amount. The only difference are the projectiles. One's full metal jacket and one is soft point. Today we're going to be testing that using FBI grade ballistics gelatin to see what the difference is when fired from about 25 meters. Let's get to it. All right guys, what you're looking at here is the front of the block to the back of the block. We've turned it around so you can see. We're gonna start off with the soft point. Now moving back to the block, at about the two inch mark, we see some massive expansion. There's about a 1.5 inch permanent cavity left inside the block. And as you can tell, the soft point dragged a bunch of debris all the way through the block. And at about at the 10 to 12 inch mark, we see total fragmentation of the round. And there are some massive pieces of jacket and lead left inside the block. One part of the soft point continued all the way out and penetrated out the 16 inch part of the block, but it seems to be a really tiny piece. Now, if we move on to the full metal jacket, we notice that our shot placement was a little bit low, but as it continued through the block, we don't really see uh, that great of performance compared to the soft point. There's a moderate stretch cavity, but it seems to have closed back down. I'm sure there was a, a massive temporary stretch cavity, but it seems to not really have done a lot of permanent damage. At the 15 inch mark, we see the FMJ totally destroyed and inside the block. It didn't over penetrate. Now these results are kind of surprising. I expected the soft point to um, not over penetrate and stop inside the block and I expected the FMJ to over penetrate, but I guess that's just kind of an interesting result. Now one thing that did happen that was really interesting is that our table sustained a tremendous amount of damage. This was completely flat beforehand and as you can tell, there's a bunch of ripples. Basically what happened is there's a pattern that matches this on the bottom side of the table. And when I'm guessing, when the round hit the gel, all the energy got transferred and completely deformed our table. So that's just a really good testament to how much energy is exerted when these rounds hit the gel. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and share it on social media. And don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it really helps us out. All right, guys, have a nice day.